Hey guys, welcome to game three of Hasu League BSL Season 13. Grand Finals, third match between Masuchi and Thebus. 12 o'clock location, we have Thebus starting as the Red Terran bottom right in corner. We have Masuchi starting as the Brown Zerg. This is on Ascension, and thus far, Thebus up 2-0. I'm concerned for Masuchi in this overall match, especially on this map in particular, because it seems like he likes favoring the... I feel like Lurker's... There's no ramp to protect Lurkers on this map. Dropship play tends to be very strong. We've seen Phoebus execute all sorts of crazy dropship play. Last map being a great example. Wow, what an insane match. I was expecting dropships. I was not expecting... Yeah, that. Uh, I love it, though. Love seeing it. But yeah, Phoebus showing he's capable of practically anything. O Initial Overlord going to try to check... The third unoccupied spawn. And I'm almost wondering if Masuchi at this stage of things, especially after the cheese last match, if he's going to opt rather than trying to play a long-term macro style, because it seems like what he's been trying to do is like, okay, I'm just going to do the long standard macro Zerg thing. And Thebus is just kind of, kind of roughly scalpeled his way out of that or, you know, cheesed his way through. And honestly, he's just picked apart Zergs that have been trying to do that at large. Wondering if Masuchi has something up his sleeves this time. Opening up with what looks like to be a 12th hatchery. Phoebus, in the meantime, not sealing his front door. Getting his barracks internal to his base. SCV scout moving out. It looks like he's also going to end up scouting Masuchi last. Let's see if this drone scout... Yeah, it looks like that drone scout is going to go ahead and move out and get eyes. And... Honestly, what we've seen, I think it was in game one. I think Phoebus was predicting Masuchi's play. Even without a scout, he went for, I think he skipped the Marine, went for the quick expansion. He is saving minerals. I'm almost wondering if he's going to do the same. Initial Marine is being produced here. <coughs> SCV scout making its way to the bottom right. I think now that he's been scouted, probably not. Yeah, getting that supply depot in. Gas has been grabbed. Spawning pool as well. Three drones immediately in gas. And yeah, I just... Honestly, I just do not think the stereotypical style of play is sufficient to engage Thebus at his current level. At least not as far as most of the Zerg I've seen in Hostile League have been executing it thus far. I think Rancor might have the right idea. Two Zerglings being produced. Potentially deal with that SCV. Natural expansion, yeah, being grabbed after just... A single Marine upon scouting the 12th hatchery built. Actually, a Marine playing a little bit far forward. Maybe trying to hope. Maybe trying to catch that Overlord. Looks like it's going to be a safer standard build for Thebus. He's going to go for that second barrack. Still no gas being grabbed. But I assume Academy to follow. Zerg layer about... Yeah, a third finished. Thebus got eyes on it, though. So everything looking very, very standard. Except for Thebus kind of wandering out aggressively on the map. I think trying to find an Overlord to pick off. Just counting on the fact that Masuchi is going to play a little bit more passive. Leaving a single Marine at home. And I guess happy to eat the mineral deduction if he had to pull units off the line to go ahead and defend this. Not finding an Overlord, however. A little bit of free damage on his Marine. SV Scout. I think, yeah, this SV Scout was doing exactly that, trying to find overlords. But Masuchi already had these overlords in nice defensive positions to negate that opportunity. Second gas being grabbed. And Spire being built. No drone in position to do this. And I think this might... I'm wondering if this is just going to be straight up two hatch mutalisk. Just straight up two hatch mutalisk and try to out-muscle Phoebus. Academy, not that far off. Engineering Bay being produced. A lot of Zerglings being produced as well. And yet, I almost wonder if it's going to be a two-hatch Mutalisk, just flat, uh, flat pressure bust. We'll see. A bunker being produced upon seeing that number of Zerglings. The economy rolling. And Zerglings currently, yeah, wandering out. So we'll see if Thebus gets overly aggressive once again in like the 
supply depot to go ahead and create a bit of a sim city there as well first medics in production stim pack on the way engineering bay finished just ahead of that spire and yeah no movements towards the third base so i think this is just going to be an attempt at two hatch muta all in pressure i think Thebus has sensed this though if he moves out with these medic marines and catches these zerglings it'll definitely be a detriment Let's see if masuchi backs off of these marines yeah or sorry these zerglings backing out to the left comps that by Thebus, checking the main he sees that spire and sees the eggs morphing no second comps at behind this level one weapons on the way range on the way and the initial turrets are being planted first six mutalisks and more mutalisks to follow and this is kind of the moment are we seeing additional mutalisks or are we going to see an attempt at a third after this again i think this is going to be i expect a little bit of damage a swing and maybe once all eight are in position ooh, able to get an scv right there but not able to stop the turret from building able to swing through those lines halt the factory production somehow six mules able to sneak through this corner able to pick off marines and really get in a nice gap here looks like there is a drone to go ahead and grab that third kind of a later third than usual that is maybe just a mistake in the build order overall but with six mutalisks behind the lines able to get a lot of damage done getting a lot of scv kills really disrupting the economy but masuchi still sitting at 18 drones overall losing a mutalisk there and it looks like okay yeah there's the additional mutalisks and he's going for level one weapons level one weapons about halfway finished so either <coughs> so either he's trying to get i'm wondering if he's just going to go for level one weapons try to use the mutalisks and try to skip lurker because this is a rampless map he still has those zerglings around that back wall he was dropping another comsat checking the main doesn't see creep colonies which leads him to believe that this is usually the creep colonies are a big indicator of whether your opponent's going to be full on aggressive or not <clears throat> but masuchi doing a good job now with 10 mutalisks picking off and keeping this medic marine occupied medic marine force occupied level one weapons is about to come online though ahead of level one weapons for Masuchi. Masuchi still playing it a little bit drone light. Sees the blinking on the engineering bay, which will give him an indicator, but still finding room to do some disruption. And doing a good job with his mutalist harass in the midst of this. Actually, even in supply, looks like he supply blocked himself there. Three o'clock base is up, not immediately grabbing the gas as of yet. Going to peel one mutalist back to just go ahead and heal. But thus far, Thebus has been boxed into his base by this Mutalist Karas. He's getting the four barracks up. Level 1 Weapons is now online, so let's see if he starts making movements out. With that Level 1 Weapons, two Mutalists getting picked off. And Masuchi yeah, now saturating that 3 o'clock. He also had a Queen's Nest well ahead of this, so going immediately into Hive before even grabbing his third gas. Thebus going for more of a standard build here he does have that factory down is getting that starport it's kind of in a in a standard position the mutals diving over that natural one of them getting picked off a second one getting picked off so the herd getting thinned and it looks like the rest of these mutals are gonna just get crushed that is unfortunate masuchi needed them to threaten map control now phoebus potentially can just walk across the map looks like we do have some lurkers morphing but it's four lurkers a lot of territory to cover science vessel is out the zerglings backing off up to the high ground and is phoebus just going to go for a third just positioning up as though he wants to play a little bit yeah wants to just grab a third and play it a little bit more macro safe from there so showing everything showing okay okay i can be aggressive everywhere but you know what i can win a macro map a macro match as well currently way ahead in that count third gas is up hive is up as well a couple scourge out in the field the defiler mound i assume this drone is there for the defiler mound 
but a very, ris a very risky moment here for Masuchi overall. He's got some lurkers that he needs to have out and around the map, and he's going to have to rely on them for the majority of his defense. Looks like thus far doing a good job, as Thebus just walking and kind of doing old school uh, World War One tactics, where it's like, I don't care about you guys, just walk up there and die into the shredder. Another SCV scout scooting around, just making sure that a fourth hasn't been grabbed at an exterior extension, ex exterior expansion, and Thebus going ahead and grabbing this base in the upper left. So some lurkers boxing out to the north. They're also there on the high ground. Also there on the gap. Thebus kind of just patrolling at various locations. No second starport, just a single starport thus far. Creating the science vessels. It looks like that second starport in production. Six barracks continue to produce. But a third base being grabbed by Thebus. And he just wants to play it, yeah, straight up macro-wise. Defiler Mound is up. Consume being upgraded. So Masuchi finding some room. Will he be able to turn around and capitalize on this, though? So he, he has Thebus playing a macro game. First Siege Tank joining the attack force to kind of... They do range. And especially... Uh, I don't think Siege Tech was upgraded, but even Unsieged, they can kind of peck away at these Lurkers. Some Radiates being dropped on the high ground. Oop. Siege Tank's eating some damage that Scourge able to get in that Science Vessel as well. And this is where... Yeah, the Siege Tank's having some trouble. Able to create a bit of headwind to get up on the high ground. A science Vessel getting picked off. Zergling sweeping in. It looks like they're going to be able to pick off one of these Siege Tanks. And Thebus continuing to bully, bully his way up the ramp. But Masuchi still holding the back line. And the Defiler Mound is up. Consume is finished. Just needs to get a Defiler out here. Looks like, yeah, is already able to drop... Swarm on the front. Thebe is still with a big macro lead, but Masuchi holds currently. This is where it becomes difficult to evict a Zerg. Third base up, but not saturated. Second starport there, but silent for the moment. Lurk is getting wiped out to the north. And as far as the upgrade war goes, right now, I haven't even seen an evolution chamber down for Masuchi. It looks like there's an evolution chamber, but... No upgrades across the board. So big upgrade lead for Masushi overall. Science vessels have been exposed. That one's going to get wiped out. Also, Marines walking into a gap and just getting obliterated there. This is kind of the moment where I'm expecting to see potentially a dropship somewhere in the midst of this to punch through this lurker line. Try to keep an eye. Yeah, there's the dropship. Two dropships to walk over this. More radiates being dropped. Firebats with this grouping as well. And dropships grouping up. There's still Medic Marines boxing out this expansion to the north. Are there Scourge in position to engage this? There's one Scourge out to the north. I don't see any additional Scourge. An Ultralis Cavern is being scooped up. Second dropship moving in, full of troops. Looks like a Defiler is going to go ahead and push these attack forces out to the north, but the initial dropship has been scouted, I assume. And it's dropping at that gap, able to get at least a drone. Zergling sweeping through. Phoebus, able to find breathing room, working on that Ultralis Cavern. And the Ultralis Cavern goes down. Drones getting obliterated. The Defiler Mound looks like it's going to go down as well. So Masuchi not able to mount a rapid response to the dropship play. Finally getting a swarm down. Just Phoebus walking right out of it though. The Fire Pat's now pounding away at the Hive. Defiler picked off. And there Masuchi exiting... So thus far, 3-0 for Thebus, moving into game four, which is potentially the final match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening.